Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Many of you have probably heard of Philo Farnsworth, credited as being one of the uh, earliest inventors of electronic television. But did you know that uh, he lived in Fort Wayne for a while? I'm in Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana, northeastern Indiana. Back in 1938, Mr. Farnsworth purchased a local facility, the uh, Cape Hart Corporation. They had a factory here in Fort Wayne manufacturing phonographs and he needed a factory to manufacture his radios and television sets in. And that's what he did for several years. Now in this area there used to be a Philo Farnsworth Museum in the city of Auburn just north of Fort Wayne. But some time ago that museum closed. Uh, and as I understand it, most of the collection um, was given away or sold. But the local historical society put in a bid to try to obtain much of that equipment and did obtain some of it. And uh, it's, as I understand, on display down at the local um, history museum here in Fort Wayne. Mr. Farnsworth also lived here in town. Uh, in fact, his house is not very far from me. I live about three miles from his house, and I drive past, past it quite often. So I thought, let's do a little road trip. I'll take the camera and the audio recorder, and we'll go down to the uh, history museum here in town and take a look at what remains of the Philo Farnsworth exhibition. Well, we are here at the museum, and there is a section for Allen County Innovation, which is the county that we're in. Here we have uh, Farnsworth's radio that he made in 1940 here in Fort Wayne. And some information on it. It was made with Bakelite. And it's the model BT-20. Art Deco style radio. Across over here, we have a full Farnsworth exhibit. Look at that. Nice informational plaques on Farnsworth. Inside of it, another one of his radios tabletop model, the CT-64. Look at that. And it looks just pristine. And then here is his original image dissector tube, his first television camera tube. RCA really wanted that. They uh, offered him $100,000 and he refused and then they sued him in court and after a lengthy court battle they gave up and they just paid for royalties to use Farnsworth's patents on that camera tube design and then over here we see one of his original picture tubes cathode ray tube oh I'm corrected this I won't wait okay uh, one of the few projects which Farnsworth directly oversaw with ITT, International Telephone and Telegraph, when they acquired the uh, television and radio corporation that he had started. So this would be later on then. But I really like this radio. This thing is pretty. That's not veneer. I bet that's real wood. <laughs> So they've got a nice little exhibit here. And then finally over here, and this is uh, dimly lit, so it's going to be hard to really see this in any detail. But this is an early television that was made by the Farnsworth Television and Radio Corporation in 1948. And again, I apologize for the low light. They've got this, they don't have any light on this. It's just in the shadow. But on the front, there's some knobs. There's a channel knob, volume, framing, which is probably horizontal or vertical hold, tone control, focus, and contrast. 
And then there's two controls on either side of the screen, there and there, for background and, oh, vertical hold. So framing must be the horizontal hold. So this is a 13-channel VHF TV with an 8 by 6 inch screen. Manufactured here in Fort Wayne around 1948. So yeah, it's a pretty small exhibit right now. The uh, museum curator I spoke with earlier told me that uh, they do have several more items from the Farnsworth Museum that they have yet to go through that uh, may make an appearance in a few years. I'm going to see if they'll let me come in and take a look at them, but uh, there's quite a process for that. Nice uh, sign back there, 1940 Farnsworth Radio, from the home of television now on display. That would probably have been a store sign that would have gone in the window. So that's the Philo T. Farnsworth exhibit here at the Fort Wayne History Museum in Fort Wayne, Indiana.